Marriage is a covenant. It's a covenant to take our joy deep, deeper than happiness, deep into the discovery of who we most truly are. And it is a commitment to a spiritual journey, to the life of becoming more fully who you are within the world. And thus, marriage is a covenant. It's a covenant that says, I love you. I trust you. I will be here for you when you are hurting, and when I am hurting, I will not leave you. The covenant of marriage was established by God who created us for each other. So today, Meredith and Russell come to declare their commitment to one another in this holy covenant. How? Oh. <gasps> oh my God! <gasps> wow! So as y'all prepare to say your vows to one another, my hope for you today is that today is the day that you love each other the least so that your love will grow, it will develop, it will blossom, and that all that might come your way will be written into your great story and the many ways that you show up for one another in that love. Russell. I truly can't believe that today is actually here. That I stand here in front of you as your bride and you as my groom to make these vows in front of all that we love. Meredith, the day is finally here. The, the day we dreamed about together for so long. Who would have thought that two high school kids meeting for a physics study session at Panera <laughs> were starting the journey of a lifetime together? You caught my eye immediately all those years ago, not just because of your good looks, but because of the brightness and happiness you radiated. Today is a day that we have dreamed of and planned for for so long. <laughs> I remember seeing you for the first time on the first day of high school senior year and thinking to myself, that guy from James Wood is pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, it wouldn't be too long before I realized there was more to you than just your good looks. I was drawn in by your intelligence, your kindness, your confidence, your infectious laugh, and with some crazy luck, you were drawn to me too. Your humor, kind nature, and caring personality caused ripples of happiness across our classrooms and gave me the biggest smile of all. Thank you for being my biggest supporter reminding me of my value when I forget, and never missing a chance to tell me that I'm beautiful. I promise to grow alongside you, because I know that you'll challenge me as well. And I'm confident that no matter how we grow over the years, we'll grow alongside each other and grow as we go. And lastly, I promise to love you more forever and ever and ever. I promise to make you feel at home with me just as much as I feel with you. I will be your shelter and safe space whenever you need it to spend every day loving you more and more. I can't wait to spend forever right with you in our one home, one family, and one life together. So now that Meredith and Russell have given themselves to each other by solemn vows and with the joining of hands and the giving and the receiving of rings, I announce to each other and to all of y'all that they are husband and wife. So in the name of the Creator and the Redeemer and the Sustainer, those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Russell, you may kiss your bride. Throughout the years, Russell has been one of many things to me. A mentor, a role model, a friend, but most importantly, a caddy. 
A darn good one, too. Now, as you've probably heard, they've dated through so much. Different colleges, states, circumstances, but have always kept true to their values and character. I want to raise a glass to Mr. and Mrs. Russell Rapaski. Thanks a lot. A successful marriage requires falling in love many times, always with the same person. And the second says, a healthy marriage is one in which only one person is crazy at a time. Meredith, I'm so incredibly proud of the woman you've grown up to be. You are warm and kind and funny. And even though you're not my older sister, I'd like to be more like you when I grow up. Cheers to Meredith and Russell and to all the years of togetherness they have ahead.